Two on the card is the first leg of the place accumulator. It's a maiden plate over a thousand meters. The second race to off at five past one. We go to two reruns. First up, Andaka, when he ran second on the 19th of June. And Andaka is saddlecloth number 12 in the first leg of the place accumulator on Sunday. Then Saddlecloth number 13, interesting runner, specially selected. We go back to his last run at Turfentine on the 17th of June, where he also finished second. Illicit Kiss comes under pressure down the inside and darker. Illicit Kiss is now trying to put in a claim. Bless me, Fred, on the outside. Faustina, those gone clear by a half length with 100 metres to go. And it's Faustino to win in darker second. Illicit Kiss third. African Skyline ran for. She selects it, tries to stick around. Then comes Vegas High Rise. Further back in the field, then to Baletto. It's Anytime Champ, but specially selected towards the outside. And they, the two that matter here, Anytime Champ narrowly in the lead and anytime champ beat specially selected third is close twice as splendid sicilian tiger and Baletto are all involved number 13 specially selected was previously trained by michael as he has now relocated to the kzn stable of paul lafferty the three-year-old son of duke of marmalade has had three starts finished second on each and every occasion his last one was uh, the one we just watched on the 17th of June. He was then gelded on the 21st of June. So number 13, specially selected, has his first run as a gelding and comes into the race with very good form behind his name. That second by an anytime champ. Anytime champ is highly regarded by Joey Soba and in his penultimate start was also second behind a decent sort in the form of Castle Town. Warren Kennedy takes the ride for the Paul Lafferty stable. Uh, the gelding has been priced up very short, 8 to 10 in the antipost market, but he shapes up as another bipot banker and certainly a place accumulator banker. Perhaps the opening three legs of the bipot, we can go very light because the following three legs all look a little bit tricky. So number 13, specially selected. The outright uh, first choice to win on his KZN debut, to win on his debut for the Paul Lafferty stable. Obviously, number 12 in darker will pose a threat, has been improving steadily with racing. Last time out ran second to Faustino. That was over the course and distance. So and darker certainly has uh, the edge in terms of experience at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Specially selected will be making his debut at the Peter Maritzburg track. Two others worth a mention. Number two, Global Path from the Mark Dixon stable. Nice to see the Brian Bernard Silks back on the track. Ran sixth behind seven song and debut. Now, that wasn't a strong maiden, but it wasn't a bad debut either. So the three-year-old son of Global View, number two, Global Path, might have plenty of scope for improvement. And then a very interesting run is number seven, Round Tree. Three-year-old son of Var from the Dennis Dry Stable, Sean Veal rides, only had the two starts, made its debut on the 4th of April, when fourth beaten six lengths by Chief Executive was quite strongly fancied to improve in its next outing on the 9th of May, was well beaten by Gimme a Prince. We know that Gimme a Prince is a very decent sort. But the master stroke here is that uh, Roundtree has now been gelded. He was gelded on the 26th of May, so the Dennis Dreyer runner comes uh, to the races for the first time as a gelding. He's shown enough potential back home to suggest he could be a major player in this, the second race on the card. But we're going light here. We're very strong at number 13, specially selected to win on debut in KZN. Confident bipot and place accumulator banker. The immediate danger is number 12 and darker. Watch for improvement from both numbers 2, Global Path, and number 7, Round Tree.